You know guys, there are certain things that you can't avoid in life. Taxes, death, and Chelsea awful and nervy games. But you know what? Three point in the pocket, clean shit, we move. Please watch my vlog. Ogs from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching another edition of the match day vlog, the sofa vlog, whatever vlog you wanna call it, it's fine. In a match day like this, I like to record before the game, at half time, and after the game, so I can really express the sentiment, the feeling at that particular moment, instead of reacting after the game, if that makes sense. The lineup just came out and is completely different than what I was thinking. Kepa, Arisa Balaga in goal, Aspiliqueta, Zuma, Rudiga, Alonso, Kova, Jorginho, Ruben, William, Giroud, and Christian Pulisic. On the bench, we have Caballero, Christensen, James, Tomori, Barkley, Mount, Calium, Pedro, and Tammy Abraham. Well, many people didn't expect Alonso to be <laughs> in the starting 11, and also many people are surprised that Jorginho is playing <laughs> so it tells you that frank lampard always uh, surprise many people because he knows those players better and he knows what he's trying to do so i don't know if it's gonna be flat four or are we gonna be seeing him like changing a little bit to back three or something i don't know but the important is you have the list of players that are going to play and whatever lineup or system he's going to use the most important today is three point and i think frank lampard is going all for it because we don't have anybody else to blame but ourselves anyways guys like i always say frank lampard can't win unless there is a positive result so it's gonna be always people who are not going to be happy about the lineup or the system we play but at the end of the day, we're going to come together if we win and we're going to get even more divided if we lose because everybody is going to question Frank Lampard why and why not. You know what I mean? Pretty much everybody is complaining about uh, Rudiger starting. But remember in the last press conference, Frank Lampard said that uh, Christensen was injured. He came off because he was injured. Maybe he doesn't want to make it worse. So let's just trust Frank Lampard because he doesn't have any other choice. Tomori is still not fit yet. Who do you want Frank Lampard to use in that position? So on his day, Rudiger can be a good player. I know football fans have very short memories, but I remember when Tony Rudiger was injured, everybody wanted him back because that defense was very bad back then. So it's not only about Rudiger, it's about the whole defense. So anyways, let's uh, wait and see what uh, Tony Rudiger can do today because he's been very active on social media. Hustle, let's do this, come on Chelsea. Now you have to show us on the field. Okay, do the talking on the field, not on social media. Jorginho is back and many people also are very happy because he's going to play with uh, with Kova. So Kova need to protect him in order for Jorginho to perform. So that is the only world class in our team that we need to protect at any cost so he can perform good. And uh, Kepa Arisa Balaga, what do you want me to say? We don't have other choice in my opinion. Ruben, yeah, we really want to see Ruben what he can do today. And guess what? Hakim Ziyech, the wizard himself, is at the bridge to encourage the team. Wow, I'm so happy about it before even the beginning of the game. Because, you know, the colleagues are going to do it for him, okay? Do it for Hakim, please. Don't let me down.
The first half, oh my gosh, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. We don't make things easy for ourselves. Oh my gosh, how many chances we missed? How many crosses that uh, we hit the first man? Oh my gosh, I was getting frustrated. And I think Hakim Ziyech also was frustrated watching that game. He was like, what is this? Is this the team that I will play with next season? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was awful at time. William, William, William. I don't want to get on an individual here in the first half because pretty much the team uh, didn't really tick, you know? I didn't understand that. The final third, you know, the midfield. I don't know even where to start because it was a little shambolic. And the chances we had, we could have scored like three. So I don't want to really get on people in this first half because, you know, William, for example, can score a brace and win you the game, can score a penalty or free kick and you, you eat your word. But this is Chelsea, man. We're playing against relegated Norwich City. What are we doing? 1-0 to Chelsea Football Club, Olivier Giroud header. And the cross was from Christian Pulisic. Yeah, in the first half, Christian was so so 50-50, I can say. But that's what you get from Christian Pulisic, right? Quality and product, assist, goals. So I'm not really going to get on players in the first half. It's a big relief for me right now and for the whole team because we were under a lot of pressure man and it was a perfect timing for the goal right before the half time one nil up so we can uh, we can prepare the second half maybe make some adjustment and let's see how it goes go you blues don't let me down second half same old same old chelsea 75 to 80 percent possession but no end product i can't really pinpoint one player because the whole team looked very heavy you know we couldn't like cross the ball properly we couldn't pass the ball properly i don't know everybody was like uh, on vacation or something like that i was sweating i was very afraid because i knew we could concede at any time this is a Chelsea thing. We can have 90% of uh, the ball, but they can counter and one chance is enough for them to score against Chelsea defense and goalkeeper. So at the back of my mind, I was always thinking, oh gosh, oh gosh, don't let this happen. Please, please, please. And when you are just leading one nil, uh, anything is possible in the Premier League. Okay, let me give some credit to Norwich goalkeeper because he was immense. How many one-on-one -on -one headers, shot, free kicks that he saved. So if he was Kepa, well, we were going to concede and people were going to blame Rudiger and Zuma, right? Yeah, you got it. It's not an agenda here. I have to talk about my team. So... Kepa was very, very quiet because he didn't have anything to do, really. We had the ball 80% at, at some point in the game. He had really nothing difficult to do. But I was just afraid that if they got a counter, we could easily concede because that's uh, a Chelsea thing. Anyways, guys, what a nervy ending. For me, I was just praying that the game is over so i can just relax and start thinking about other things the, at the end god finally listened to me and helped us to get a victory three point in the pocket clean sheet and that is the most important in this time in this moment because remember in my preview i said i don't care how i just want three point okay we were very average if i can say everybody in that team so it's very difficult for me to start pinpointing individual in this video because i always like record the match and then watch the match again and try to 
to take my emotions away and analyze the game so I can make a more quiet video with a lot of common sense because now I can't talk with all the emotions and all the high blood pressure that I had oh my gosh Chelsea is going to give somebody a heart attack Norwich City Norwich City we only won 1-0 but hey a win is a win I would take it all day long you know what I mean all day long I'm not gonna refuse it I'm gonna take it so expect another video where I will be uh, making my five talking points or ten talking points I don't care how many talking points is gonna be in that video but I, I'm gonna go through individuals one by one and uh, and let you know what I think and you can leave also your comment so we can share uh, our experience Overall, I think it was a good game because when you win 1-0, sometimes you have to be proud of your team because you can say that they were stable. We didn't concede anything and we keep the momentum to the next game. So guys, let me know what you think about the game. God bless you. Think outside the box and see you in the next one.